Before dinosaurs went extinct, they lived on every single continent. Tyrannosaurus rex could be up to 40 feet in length and weigh up to 10 tons, or about 20,944 pounds. The biggest dinosaur eggs that we have discovered so far are about the size of a soccer ball. Dinosaurs ruled the earth for over 165 million years and humans have only been around for 2 million years. Tyrannosaurus rex lived closer in time to humans than it did to a stegosaurus, which was already fossilized by the time the T-Rex came along. Pretty cool, huh? Brain play. If you could have a pet dinosaur, how would you train it? I would train it to kind of like you would train a dolphin. I just train it to be nice. This means spin, this means jump. I would train it with a treat because it would know that like, every time it did something good that it would re be rewarded. I would train it to fly because then you would get to places faster than with a car. Make it! We're going to try and drop this egg from three feet. So we have popsicle sticks, tape, straws, rubber bands, eggs, and balloons. We're gonna start with the hard boiled eggs for our test. Maybe we could put the egg in a cup and then put balloons around it. And we can put rubber bands on the bottom of it so it doesn't so it doesn't break like this. Yeah, that's a great idea. Put the egg inside. So I'm gonna be putting oh, yeah, popsicle yeah. sticks on top of the cup. Okay. That's okay. I think we might need a few more oh, yeah. balloons as shock absorbers. Yeah, so yeah, that's a good idea, I think. Okay. okay, so what we have in here are balloons, tape on both sides, and then we have rubber bands and the two eggs. Do you think that'll be a good shock absorber? Yeah, yeah. but we need some yeah, more balloons more. on the outside. Right here? Where my hand is, yes. And I got this one. Is it right and in that little space? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go and test it out. Okay, let's, let's count, count down. down. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it. Okay, let's Let me go. Open. Yeah. Let me see? It work? Yes, it worked. Knock, knock. Who's there? Aware. Aware who? Oh, where, oh, where has my little dog gone? I don't know. Well, he's lost. Ah. Uh, hey, Skylar, what did the buffalo say to his kid going off to college? I don't know. Bye, son. I don't get it. Well, you see, a buffalo can also be called a bison. And his kid can also be called a bison because it's a buffalo's kid. Oh, I get it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Monkey. Monkey who? My key doesn't work, that's why I knock. <laughs> well, come on in. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Goat. Goat who? Goat to the door and find out. Might as well. Wait, it's me! Knock, knock. Who's there? Toad. Toad who? I told you I knew all the knock, knock jokes. You're pretty smart. Brain play. What is your favorite saying? My favorite saying is, oh my goodness! My favorite saying is that you'll miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Hit the ground running. Now or never. Can you figure out who I am? I do a lot of research about people. I study things from the past and how they connect to today. I work with historical records, genetic analysis, and old charts all the time. I work with trees, but not the kind of trees that are outside. I can tell you about your ancestors, who they were, where they were from, and who they married. Who am I? A genealogist. The 
woolly mammoth was an ancient relative to modern elephants. It was covered with coarse hair and had tusks that were up to 16 feet long. Woolly mammoth fossils have been found across Europe, Asia, and North America. Mammoth drawings made by ancient humans in caves were some of the world's earliest art pieces. When the pyramids of Egypt were being built 4,000 years ago, paintings of mammoths were created, meaning there may still have been mammoths alive on Earth. In Russia, an 11-year-old boy found a 30,000-year-old mammoth that was preserved in the snow. It still had skin and hair that scientists were able to study. Pretty cool, huh? Naked! Today we're gonna make summer salsa. We're gonna need green onions, celery, olives, tomatoes, white corn, honey, and Italian salad dressing. First, we're going to take our bowl and um, add our white corn. So we're gonna chop up, chop up tomatoes, green onion, and celery. Let's cut them into small bites. How does mine look? Looks good, but I think you should Maybe cut them into smaller. smaller pieces. Yeah, this one is big. No, this is fun. Okay, so now we're gonna put our chopped vegetables into the bowl. It smells so good. I agree. <laughs> then we'll do some. A little bit more celery and the rest. Here, not yeah. too much though. That's good. That's good. Okay, now we're going to add a tablespoon of honey. Is that <laughs> enough? Uh, maybe a little. Yeah. Honey, I love honey. Drizzle this on top. It's gonna come out fast. Don't put too much. Okay, that's good, that's good. Mmm, this, this looks so good. I know, good I wanna already. eat it already. Okay. Have some <laughs> tortilla some. chips. Okay. Oh. Just put, put that, that right, right there. there. Okay, tell us how it is. Okay, I'm only having a little bite. Hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Hey Sam. Yeah? Where do cows go on vacation? I don't know where. New York City. And sometimes New Jersey. You got that right. What? did the grape say when the elephant stepped on him? Nothing, he just let out a little wine. Get it? Because wine, people drink wine, and another wine is like, eh. Where do funny frogs sit? Silly pads. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Hey Alyssa, what? What's a skunk's favorite sandwich? I don't know. Peanut butter and smelly. <laughs> What do you call an elephant in a phone booth? Stuck. Oh. 